everyone, it's McMage here, and welcome to another chill Sunday. This week we are once again playing an itch.io, itch.io, still don't know how to pronounce that, game called Amber Light. Um, as far as I know, we are just taking care of a lighthouse and getting in our feels. So, let's get in our feels. You're packing your bag. You're exhausted and beat up. You've been struggling for a while now. Grace tried to be there for you. She's your closest friend since forever. If you've ever really cared about anyone, it's her. But eventually, you stopped talking to her too. You can't remember the last time you ate anything. Grace made you some sandwiches a few days ago. It's the last thing you got around. You ate them in tears. You finally left. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm so cute. My little scarf. Okay. Why do we leave? Wow. That was a big lighthouse. That's a big lighthouse. I like the clouds. Welcome, Cassie. We <laughs> we are thrilled to have you. We're thrilled to have you. Your duty will involve operating and maintaining the lighthouse. Okay. The pile will be shipped out to you once every month. You can contact us via the given information if you have any questions. And welcome aboard. Thank you. Though I don't think it would be aboard if uh, I'm on land. But okay. You left a note saying you'll be gone for a bit, but you don't think you will ever come back. Oh. One year later. Okay. That was fast. Have we adjusted to the lighthouse life? It's been a while since I got here. Yeah, it's been exactly one year, apparently. Maybe it would be nice if I can clean up around here a bit. Clean up the island. Okay. I mean, there's just leaves, so we're just doing yard work? Question mark? Cassie, why'd you run away from everything and everyone, including Grace? Even though... Whoa, whoa. How do I... Oh, I jump. Even though Grace made you sandwiches. Hup. Wow. Is this how we have to get up the lighthouse every single day? That's a lot. Beautiful. Phew. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I would be too having to jump up all those steps. Ooh. I like this. Time to turn on the light. You really gonna force me to climb up all these steps again? Cassie? You couldn't have just stayed up here until nighttime? I would set up a bed. I'm not gonna lie. I would set up a... I didn't mean to do that. I would set up a bed on the floor right below this one. How do I... Oh. Ooh. How cute. Okay, time to go back down, I guess. Oh. Down. Don't break your ankles. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Get on top of the lighthouse. Okay, well... I don't know if that was there this whole time, but I'm... Hold on. I'm just a little bugged. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Back to the top of the lighthouse. <laughs> I, didn't mean to do I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. Okay. Top of the lighthouse. <laughs> I guess it's autumn already. People say that autumn is the season of endings, but I think it's really the season of new beginnings. And I always effing terrified of that. I don't know what will come next. I don't know if I have enough left to take it. What I know is there will be no new beginning for me. I know that for a while now. I'm happy I found this place. I think I'll be okay here, waiting for the end. Huh? Huh? You mean your eventual death at the age of like probably 79? 84? You know what, Island? You've been with me for a long time now. Literally carrying me. You shouldn't be this empty. And boring. And sad. Okay, call him out. No longer, I declare. I will personally, for there is no one else, make you look better. Somewhat. 
Okay, let's decorate an island and hopefully not glitch out again. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Phew. Holy crap, that's not half bad. Maybe I should be a landscaper. A professional landscaper. Who works exclusively on an island with a lighthouse. <laughs> and I will charge a million dollars for my service every time. Wait. I was gonna read it after. What? Are you kidding me? I was gonna read it after I put everything in. Bruh. I'm never gonna know what it says. I might go back to see what it says. You know, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go back to see what it says. Happy shooting star day! Tonight, the biggest meteor shower of the year will appear in the night sky. Make a wish and it may as well come true. Oh. Well, I thought it was gonna be like a letter from Grace or something. Lamp. See, this time I know to get on top of the lighthouse. Oh, well, there's a meteor shower! It's a beautiful night. I remember back in the day. Everyone was always looking forward to shooting stars. And they just say what? I've never really believed in wishing. I used to think it's silly to believe a burning star can give anybody anything. But now, just screaming your desire to the universe and never heard doesn't seem so bad. If I can make just one. I wish I wasn't so worthless. I wish I was better. I wish I could get up in the morning and look forward to things again. I wish it didn't hurt this badly. Huh. I guess it was more than one wish. Aw, oh, Cassie. I'm reading you now, sucker. Oh my god. It's from Grace. How'd she find you? I'm not ready for this. Oh. You don't even want it. Okay, that's fine. Listen. Cassie. I understand the feeling. And why you probably feel like you're feeling it. But running away from your problems on a deserted lighthouse area will not help you feel better. What the frick? Hi, Cassie. It's been really tough tracking you down. I guess I really made up... I guess you really made up your mind about leaving. When you're gone, I was really afraid. Oh, it's the letter. I thought it was like a star. <laughs> Some part of me knew that I might never see you again, but I get why you left. I know life can be really... Can really screw you over and people always say you gotta get back up but things are gonna be better but you know what it's really effing hard to believe in all of that i never told you this but i was in a really crappy place i was suffocating i could barely get out of bed every day i didn't think that it's gonna get any gonna get any better but you were there you came through for me you made me feel like i can be okay again the little things you did. The stupid jokes you used to tell. All of it meant so much. You meant the world to me. I'm not gonna tell you everything's gonna be okay. Or if we do it together, we can get through it. Because even I know it's a shot in the dark, but you know, life is so weird and wonderful and terrifying and things might never be better. But hey, why not say F it? and give it a shot anyways. I miss you, Cassie. I hope you're gonna be okay. I packed something for you that I think you might like. Love, Grace. Oh, she packed us a CD. And I'll press E to continue in case it skips it. Oh. That's so cute. Oh, it does skip it. Ah, well. Um, oh. Hmm. It feels nice today. Maybe it's time I renovate the lighthouse a bit. It always seems like it's too much work that I can't handle. But, screw it. Why not? It'll be great. I'm sure. Okay. I just want to say something, Cassie, before we continue. It's really... Not funny, but like, it's just ironic how people can be going through these things 
in their lives, right? And you don't tell anyone because you're like, I can't tell anyone. I need to go to therapy before I tell anyone. And then you're like, I don't want to go to therapy, yada, yada, yada. Um, and you don't realize that when you feel at your lowest, you could be like this rock, this tether for someone else. And you could literally never know because they, like people don't communicate about that kind of stuff. We're doing it now more, more often. We're doing mental health conversations better. But just sitting there and going, hey, I've had a really rough time and I know you've been having like a really rough time too, but just being here together has really helped me not kick the bucket early, if you know what I mean. And so I'm kind of glad that Cassie's like, hey, I'm feeling a little bit better because Grace told me that she's my rock when Grace was my rock, yada, yada, yada. And it's like, you got to rely on people, you know, even though it's so difficult to rely on someone else because, you know, quote unquote, quote, who's going through all this stuff? No one would understand what I'm going through when actually a lot, a lot of people would understand. <gasps> wow. It looks so much better. I did this. I can do it after all. This feels so weird, but I'm so happy. See, Cassie, I told you setting up a bed on the third floor would be good. Also, kitchen on the second floor, that's a, that's a cute idea. But like this, this area is adorable. That way you can just sleep and then only climb up one flight of stairs. Alrighty. It feels so long ago since I arrived here. It's funny, all the time I was here, there's not a single ship or boat that comes around. I always felt this place is kind of like me. Well, Cassie, a lighthouse is supposed to deter boats from coming towards you, but okay. Pointless. Okay, lighthouses are definitely not pointless, buddy boy, but okay. But now I think that the idea that there's something out there, waiting to help you find your way, it's kind of comforting. For the first time in forever, I feel like everything's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And even if I'm not, I can be okay again. I miss Grace. I'll go back to see her. I promise. The end. Oh, That was cute. That was really cute. Because, yeah... People like to use the, uh, I don't know what it's called, but like the, the reference of lighthouses and like there's always a lighthouse in the dark. Oh god, I hope this is not copyrighted. I might have to be talking over this. Anyways, um, that was a very cute game called Amberlight. Um, I'm sorry I have to talk over this. But, and it's funny, because the whole time Cassie was like, I'm kind of like a lighthouse. Pointless, but maybe not pointless. My brain was thinking of Dredge, and that one scene where it's like, the lighthouses actually have a capability of saving or killing people, because it's off, you don't know if you're going to hit rocks. But if it's on, you know you're going to hit rocks if you go in that direction. And you can't be a fly to light. So, but yeah, all in all, I just want to say to all of you out there that if you are struggling, you know, especially this close um, to the holiday season and to the new year, that, you know, it, it eventually, it's going to be okay. And you can talk to someone, you can talk to literally anyone, and if you can't, if you feel like you can't, then just write it down or type it up or put it somewhere outside of your brain because if you keep it in your brain it's going to ball up into this absolutely horrid thing and once you get there it's kind of like the point of no return unless you start talking to someone because you might just ball it up and explode and that's never a good option so i just want to say once again thank you all so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, 
and ding that cute little notification bell unless you already have, then don't you dare touch it. And I hope you all have a good holiday season and make sure to keep yourselves and your mental health in check because everything's gonna be okay and if it's not you will be okay again alrighty see you later